I couldn't find this part anywhere on the internet, so I just made it. So I have a Suncast Tremont shed. That shed uses these smart bolts to hang things. Unfortunately, I don't have any because they only provide you with a limited supply. So I'm 3D printing three of them here. Also for all three of these, I'm putting the infill at 100% because I'm having a hard time with them snapping inside the wall. Now that they're done printing, let's go test our luck outside. So in the shed here, we've got these holes. And then we've got our little screwdriver that came with the shed. You can see that this is what they originally look like. They're clear. And like I said, you can't buy these anywhere on the internet. One just isn't going to work because the screwdriver doesn't fit into it, but the screwdriver does fit these two. Okay, got that taken care of. So this is the longer threaded option here with a nub nose like that. If I put that in the wall right here into this hole, I can tell it starts to turn okay, but then I met with a lot of resistance. We're not even a third of the way in, right? So that's not gonna work. Here we're using our shorter bolt and we get no resistance. So let's hang up that tool hanger. This is my tool hanger 3D print and we're gonna stick it right here on the wall. Now understand that this is a PETG fitting so it's not like I'm gonna wrench on it. It's gonna be a little loose but it's tighter than it really should be at this point. Um, if I tighten it up much more, the bolts will actually end up looking like that. There we go, shovel hangs from the tool hanger. It's not actually on the ground, I know it looks like it is. But yeah, that worked really well. 